brutal attack of a clerk at a Smoketown dollar store. Four people are charged now, and police are still looking for three others in connection with this attack of a store clerk. Police say they have four people in custody now and are looking for three more people. So what motivated that attack? WHAS 11's Adam Walzer is live at the Smoketown Dollar Plus on Preston with tonight's top story. Adam? Well, first of all, Melissa, the owner here says that that attack was so horrific that uh, she wished she had never witnessed it. It was absolutely horrifying. Her employee was nearly killed when a mob of family members came inside that store last week looking for vengeance. The Smoketown Dollar Plus store is a staple of the Smoketown neighborhood. I'm all right. Where owner Julie Cater recognizes almost every customer as a regular. That's why she was shocked when a group of seven family members entered her store and began charging at her employee. They proceeded to come behind the counter and uh, literally beat him to a pulp. The attack was based on retaliation for an incident that happened earlier involving the employee and a relative of one of his attackers. They just started pulling things off the counter, anything that they could get they used as a weapon or an instrument to to beat on him with. They broke an umbrella on him, they used a phone, uh, we had a bucket that we used to carry ice with. Cater tried to intervene to protect her employee against a man holding a gun. When I approached him to say stop, we, you don't need to do this, um, he reared up and hit me in the mouth with the pistol in his hand. After the assault, the suspects ran away. Police who had been called to the scene were able to arrest three people within minutes and identified others using surveillance video. Eric Haynes, Denisha Lester, Jerrica Lester, and Crystal Adams have been arrested. The charges are for robbery, attempted murder, wanton endangerment, assault, and intimidating a witness in a legal process. Police are still seeking Erica Adams and Eric Lester. Investigators have also released this photo of another suspect who they have not yet been able to identify. Now, if you recognize the man in that surveillance photo, you're asked to contact LMPD at 574 LMPD. Of course, police are also looking for those other two wanted suspects. Reporting live from the Smoketown community, Adam Walser, WHAS 11 News.